I grew up around people, particularly my mom and her friends, a circle of black women who loved and lived and studied black social life and especially black music. And everything I do is a function of what they taught me. I was born into that circle and all I ever wanted to do pretty much was be like them. My name is Fred Moten. I'm a cultural theorist and poet. What has always motivated me is to try to understand the miracle of how black people have survived under such duress and also to try to contribute to the transcendence of what we might think of as mere survival. And that means the transformation of the world in which we live. Experience is irreducibly sensual and it's important to pay attention to all of the aspects of sensual experience, including sound. The dominant philosophical tradition within which we operate is one that tends to valorize the visual over the oral. And I think at the same time, black culture in all of its various manifestations has always been concerned with the reassertion of the sonic as a vehicle for alternative social and political desire. For me, the study of the aesthetics of the black radical tradition has meant paying attention, one, to the miracle of, of how black people have survived and to the brutality that black people have survived. What I wanted to do in, in the break is to try to begin by understanding the relationship between the miracle and the brutality, and then to try to see how it is that the miracle of survival manifests itself in this beautiful, complex, aesthetic sociality that black life bears and embodies. On the most basic level, the three books of Consent Not to Be a Single Being are an attempt to extend the work that I tried to begin in, in the break and also work I've done in my poetry. And it's an explicit attempt to begin to work through this paradox in black history, which is that we live through the experience of being denied selfhood. I just always wanted to be in an ensemble and work with other people. Everything I've ever done is a collaboration. I've never felt that the idea of single authorship is anything other than a con. You're always in conversation and in collaboration with other people. Poetry gets away with the con even more by way of people thinking that they are the individual creator of their work. These collaborations have always animated anything that I've ever tried to do and always enabled anything that I've ever tried to do.